Do we want to talk about embryology? No. <laughs> okay. So, nephrons. We can't see those, and there's jillions of them inside the cortex. The, the, the nephrons are part of the cortex. Okay? We have two kidneys, two ureters, one bladder, one urethra. Okay, that takes care of everything that's in our reno genital ureters. That's what they call it, the GU system. Okay, uh, the kidney. We have a true capsule. You're going to hear that pop when they do a biopsy. Mm -hmm. We do go up to the floors and do biopsies bedside. Okay? Around the capsule, we have peri, meaning around fat. Okay? So it's going to be next to the true capsule. And around the whole thing, you have Gerota's fascia. Gerota's fascia. Okay? What's around our liver? Y'all remember? No. What is the capsule called around our liver? No. Glistens. Glistens. Oh, glistens. Glistens capsule. Okay. Don't get those confused. Glistens is a capsule. Our capsule is called a true capsule or a fibrous renal capsule. <coughs> okay, Jerosha's is just a fascia. It's, it's the area around, okay? Okay, renal artery, superior posterior, renal vein, inferior anterior, ureter, ureter goes to the bladder, it enters the bladder at what area? What is that area called? Trigon. 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 Okay. When the bladder gets full, the maximum amount of urine it can hold is around 500 cc's. And then it's going to go out the what? To the toilet. To the No. Nope. What? From the bladder, you go to the urethra? Urethra. Okay, do not get ureter and urethra mixed up. Okay. So ureter is, is a tube that will yes. take it to the... the ureter comes from the kidney to the bladder. The urethra comes from the bladder to the outside of the body. Okay, on a man, it's, it comes out of the end of his penis. Okay, the urethra is very long. On a female, it's very, very short, okay? The man's urethra goes through his prostate. The woman doesn't have a prostate, okay? But our urethra is very short. So that's why it's important for us to be clean after sex or to wipe from front to back because bacteria can get up into our, it'll travel up the urethra, into the bladder, into the kidneys. And you definitely do not want to get inflammation of the kidneys, okay? We've probably all had a bladder infection. You'll see women come home from their honeymoon with a bladder infection because they've never had sex before and all of a sudden they've had lots and lots of sex but they didn't like clean themselves in between. And so bacteria gets up into the urethra. So then they get a UTI, okay? Major calyces, minor calyces. So here's a minor, here's a minor, here's a major, okay? This is a pyramid, you have a base, you have an apex. The arcuates come from what vessel? Artery. Yeah, they do come from an artery. 
what artery do they come from? Interlobar. Inter Inter okay? And so this, and then this feeds the, the what? What's all out in the cortex? The nephrons. Okay? And nephrons is what makes, that cleans and filters our blood, takes what it needs and sends it back through a vein to the IVC, or it takes the waste and it goes out by urine. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the nephrons today. See how I led into that, that was quick. <laughs> okay, so the nephrons are the basic functional units of the kidney. Okay, if our nephrons don't work, or if we have, it's not there. Glomerul nephritis. That means that the glomerus is not working. The glomerus is protected in like a U-shaped called Bowman's capsule. Okay? Bowman's capsule. Don't get Bowman's capsule confused with Jerocious. Jerocious is a fascia. Okay? Bowman's capsule is actually a little cup that holds the glomerus. Glomerulus. Glomerulus. Okay? The glomerulus is just a bunch of capillaries. Okay, so let's talk about capillaries. Who can answer? Arteries all the way to veins. Arteries all the way to veins. Capillaries. Capillaries. Very good. So what holds, so what tells us about that? This is where the exchange takes place. Okay? In the glomerus is where the blood is either, I'm sorry, but I've got to show y'all my arms. My, I'm, burning up in here. So, uh, the glomerus is where the exchange takes place. Thank you. <laughs> Just don't pay attention about that one. <laughs> okay, so, so blood has to get into that capsule. Okay? So there's two different kinds of arterioles that feed those capillaries, okay? The afferent carries blood entering the capsule. The efferent, exit, E, carries blood away from the glomerus, okay? Afferent to efferent away, okay? After it leaves that little capsule, the Bowman's capsule, then it goes into a, a tubule. That tubule has three different names, very, very easy to remember, because proximal is here, distal is here, okay? Proximal here, distal is here. It doesn't matter what you're talking about in the organ. You always have a proximal and you always have a distal, okay? So it, first off, it leaves the glomerus, the Bowman's capsule, and it goes into the proximal convoluted tubule. Then it goes into the loop of Henle, and then it goes into the distal convoluted tubule. Okay? What? Okay, go stand in line. Yeah, it's in the vision. We have mandatory stuff. Okay, so let's talk about the nephron. I've got two or three different types of imaging because I want you, I don't know if, what they're gonna have on the ARDMS, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you several different kinds. Bowman's capsule, and that's exactly what it is. Bowman's capsule is just a cup, okay? These are the glomerous capillaries, which are where arteries turn into veins. 
our arterials turn into venules. Okay? Afferent. Afferent is what? Towards or into. Okay? Efferent. Wherever you come out, it's got to get out, right? Whatever you take in, you've got to take it out. So here it's exiting Bowman's capsule. Okay? It goes into what? Proximal convoluted tubule. Loop of Henley. Distal convoluted. Okay? And then it goes back to the renal vein. Okay? The waste, it goes out of Bowman's capsule and we excrete it. Okay? So what does the Bowman's, what, are the, what does the nephron do? It goes excretion equals filtration, reabsorption, the, what we need to go back to the liver. Secretion, meaning what? Secretion. Okay, it's going to let put off something. And excretion, what does that mean? We're going to pee pee. Okay, it's going to exit. Okay, so let's look at a different one. <laughs> okay, let's look at a different one. Bowman's capsule, and it is a capsule. Okay? Afferent, blood to. Efferent, blood away. Proximal, loop of Henley. Distal, where does this go? What is this? What vessel is this? Okay. Yeah, it's the collecting duct. And if it goes here, the distal, what is it going to go into? The, what is that blood going to go to? IBC. It's going to go into your renal vein. Okay. So, uh, it's just a different way to look at it. Okay. Now, here is supposedly the renal medulla. What is the another name for the renal medulla? Just the pelvis. Yeah, the renal pelvis. Because all of the nephrons are located in the cortex. Here's another one. Okay. Interlobar artery goes in and it is what? A a no. What does the interlobar artery go to? The arcuate arteries. Okay, the arcuate arteries feed with arterioles, Bowman's capsules. Those are called afferent arterioles. Okay? Because the arcuate artery is still an artery, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's got to get smaller to get into Bowman's capsule, the glomerus. So it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, smaller until it's an arterial. Once it enters Bowman's capsule, it's a capillary. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm on the venous side. I'm trying to get rid of the blood now. So I turn into a venule, and then I turn into a vein. Right now, I'm still going to be, well, they're not listed here. So here's the venules, okay, because we've got to go back. So the efferent is taking blood away from the glomerus, okay? It goes through what? Proximal, convoluted tubule, loop of Henle, distal, into the tubule. Now, this goes into the papilla. Okay? The papilla is part of what? Remember, we have a base. We have an apex. Pyramid. It's part of the pyramid. 
The papilla is at the apex of the pyramid. Okay.